Are you listening? Hey y'all, it's Kim with the Can. I come to you guys with an update on this gorgeous unit I have on my head right here. You guys, I am still loving this wig. Like, if you watch my initial review, which I will leave down in the description box below, you guys will see that I was just literally in love with this wig when I first saw it. And I am still in love with this wig today, you guys. And I added some highlights. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Here you go. Just some subtle highlights. You know, nothing too much, but just a few highlights. I don't even know if the camera's really picking it up there. There you go. Just a few highlights, mostly like at the front area. Not so much like in the back here. You see that's still kind of dark, but yeah, I did add some highlights. I think they're really, really cute. I love it. I wanted just something kind of subtle. I might go in and add a few more, just kind of make it pop a little bit, but I wanted to try it out first. But anyway, so this wig I have in my head is from Kara Wigs. I am in love with this wig. I know I keep saying that, but seriously, y'all, bomb.com, bomb.com. So let me give you guys the specs on this wig. I'm gonna look over here on my laptop. So this is their Loose Wave 360 degree lace frontal wig, y'all. Okay, what wig 2K17? Like, okay, and I know somebody's gonna ask, this is a side note, this choker I have is from Zawful. If you haven't seen my Zawful swimsuit slash swimwear haul, I will leave that down below. And this top I have right here, super, super cute. You know, the off the shoulder thing is in right now. I got it from Shein or um, Sheinside.com. Super, super cute. I will have a review on this top as well as a few other items from them very, very soon. Really one other item. Let me not say a few because... I got two items from them. But yeah, I will have a review on this really cute top as well as another item from Shein very soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, back to this gorgeous flame wig. So what 360 lace wig means is that there is lace all around the perimeter of this wig, so I can put it up in a ponytail and a bun and things of that nature. But y'all, I'm just really loving the like, <laughs> the length long, like summertime, beach, like wig, okay? A bit is on the island, okay? <laughs> so this wig, I have it in the color natural color but I've added a few highlights which I will be showing you guys in this video the length is 22 inches the texture is loose wave the density is 180 density the hairline is pre plucked and the lace color is medium brown this wig would be that much better if I bleached the knots I will have a bleach knots video coming soon y'all but okay it's harder than it looks okay but I did not bleach the knots on this wig instead I just kind of added black mascara around the perimeter to um kind of shield the color um but clearly you can part it with the lace here as y'all see right here i just really like the flip over look um with this wig but yeah there's lace literally everywhere but i love the like flip over just kind of like messy look for this wig um what else about this unit um shedding i got a little bit more shedding after i dyed it but not where it's like chunks of hair coming out not at all and this hair is super super thick and just gorgeous i think the luster is super natural the density like i said is just gorgeous and thick i didn't even need the 180 like i could i could have went um a little bit lower on the density and i think the hair still would have been um fabulous this is 22 inches i am 5'7 so i'm gonna stand up so you guys can see where the hair falls on me so this is where the hair is falling for the back pretty much hold on pretty much like uh right above my right on my butt pretty much um, as far as tangles i'm not really getting any tangles um maybe a little bit but not really anything that i need to like oh worry about but i'm getting a few tangles but nothing less tangles than shedding if that makes any sense like i just got a few strands there of some hair so what else about this wig um that's really it. I love this wig. Um, it dyed very easily. The texture is just beautiful. Literally, this is the hair um, air dried. I have been like messing with it because I wore it in another video. So I kind of like, as you see, I keep touching it and like making it a little bit frizzy. But I don't mind the big kind of not tamed look. I think it's really cute. But as you guys see, all the way to the ends, like the hair is curled all the way to the ends. Very, very nice and thick still. Gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. I'll show this side just in case the hair to be like, he ain't show the other side, but... Yeah, I love this wig, you guys. Seriously, I'm in love. 
Kara wigs, you guys did your thing. So yeah, let me go ahead and insert the clip uh, showing you guys how I put the highlights in this gorgeous unit right here. First thing you need are gloves as well as a well ventilated area, you guys. This is bleach powder that we're dealing with. So you have your bleach powder, your bleach developer, and I have a combination of 40 and 20 because I was already using, I think, the 20 because I was actually trying to bleach some knots on a closure, which I'll have that video coming soon. But um, so I already had the powder kind of mixed. But here I'm going to add a little bit more of that powder to the mixture that I already had because it was kind of too liquidy. And I actually wish I had a little bit more of the powder to make it a little bit thicker. But as y'all saw, it was literally like barely any powder left. So <laughs> I was trying to make it do what it do. But here's the hair before. I'll show you guys a little before. Um, So I'm actually going to try this little comb method. I thought it was a great idea and it turned out pretty good. Would I do it again? Probably. But I would probably make, like I said, the um mixture a little bit thicker. I think that would help. But yeah, I was kind of going for the just a little bit of highlight. Not too much. You know. I'm just combing straight through the hair. And then here I'm going to wash it out and let it sit for, I don't know, I think I let it sit for only like 20 minutes or so. I probably could let it sit a little bit longer, but I was like, like I said, I was doing other things and trying to like wash that in between. So, um, but I'm using the Hello Hydration Shampoo, Shimmer Light Shampoo, and the Aussie Moist Conditioner. I started off with the Hello Hydration um, Shampoo, just get that developer to stop. And as you see, I still have my gloves on at this point because um, the hair still had the bleach in it while I'm cleaning it out. So I'm going to make sure I get that out before I put my hands on the unit the wig or whatever, and then um, I'm going to follow up with the Shimmer Light Shampoo. The Shimmer Lights is like this purple shampoo, and they also have the conditioner, which I need to get the conditioner, y'all. Don't ask me why. I just got the shampoo. Don't ask me why. I was slow. <laughs> so here I'm making sure I really get that in. And what it does, it helps to get the brassy tones out from when you highlight your hair to get that. Like, you know, the blonde has like some brushy portion. Brush. Bleh. The blonde can have some brassy portions, so I was trying to get that out. Um, I really didn't need it, honestly, because... It's really barely highlighted, but I did it just in case. So I also followed up with the Aussie Moist Conditioner, which I think I accidentally deleted that clip. But I did use the conditioner, um, and I let it sit for like maybe 5, 10 minutes. And then I, as you see here, I'm just kind of wringing out the hair to kind of get rid of some of that excess. And this is what we're working with. Yes, curls are still intact. Yes. you check out Kara Wigs. If I have a discount code, I will leave it down in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed, and leave me some comments down below. I am literally in love with this wig, you guys. Like, y'all don't understand. Literally throw some water on it, and the curls will be popping. I have no product on this wig. I've washed it a few times, and I'm just still loving it, and I love the length. I was gonna cut it, but <laughs> I'm feeling like, ah! Let me stop. But seriously, I really am in love with this wig. Thank you. Thank you so much to Kara Wigs. I'm loving the wig. You guys have excellent quality hair. So I am so here for it. You are most definitely Poppinsville approved, y'all. This wig is popping. Hey, seriously, like, I cannot. Like, I literally cannot. <laughs> I love this. What wig? What wig 2K17? Y'all, somebody sleep. But that's fine. Like, I thought about adding some, um, bangs but you know what <laughs> I'm not <laughs> okay somebody needs to take this wig from me because I don't know how to act seriously <laughs> so yeah if you're not subscribed to my channel already go ahead and click that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos I will leave some playlists down below check those out it's gonna be hair playlist makeup playlist all of that and I think that's it I don't know I'm feeling this wig y'all I'm in a great mood wig slaying outfit slaying. I'm about to post an OT, o -O -T -D on the gram. If you aren't following me on my Instagram, definitely follow me there. It's Cameron Monet. If you aren't following me on my Snapchat, that's It's With A K. If you haven't liked my Facebook page, it's Cameron Monet. Definitely check me out on my other social media platforms, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Later!